What is up, everybody? Hopefully you're ready to rock and roll. Hopefully you're enjoying some home time and uh, hopefully you're keeping the faith through this crazy, crazy time we're going through. But I'm gonna bring it to you here live. I'm gonna bring some fun and we're not gonna talk about any viruses or any toilet paper. So, one of my favorite things to do is cook steak. And one of my favorite ways to cook steak tacos was with skirt steak. If you go to Aldi's, you can pick these up for like six to 11 bucks. You can freeze them. They're literally the best form of steak tacos. So we're gonna show you the best knives to use for raw meat. So we have a few that we're gonna teach you about. So we're gonna bring back the salmon knife, which you guys saw in my watermelon video. We're also gonna show you the boning knife here, which is one of my personal favorites. Then we're gonna pull out the old butcher knife again and show you how that works on raw meat. And then we're going to show you the kind of a hybrid knife here called the Santoku, which the Santoku is going to be great for uh, chopping and also raw meat. So if you haven't heard, we are bringing the fun to March and we're going to be doing a Cutco bracket. And the Cutco bracket is pretty awesome. So if you haven't seen this, there's uh, some fun uh, battles that are going to be taking place. We got the ultimate, the signature uh, series. We got the outdoor knives competing. We got the gadgets and accessories. And then we also have the gourmet and the uh, ultimate pieces competing. So you wanna make sure you get your bracket filled out uh, before Thursday. And we're gonna be doing fun videos, some how-to videos, gonna make it fun. And we'll give all, 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 away a lot of Cutco. So make sure you get that filled out. You wanna join the Cutco free bracket group. That's free for anybody. So let's, uh, let's start with this one here. This is the Santoku knife. And I let this uh, sit overnight. And uh, what's cool is I soaked it in beer. So if you wanna really tenderize it, you soak it in beer overnight. Doesn't mean you're gonna drink or eat the beer. The beer will be cooked away, but it really just tenderizes the steak. So what's nice about this one is you have the ability to do kind of like a drag through method. And then if you want to, you also have the ability to do like a chop through methods. So a lot of people really, really swear by the Santoku knife because you can kind of drag through and then chop through. So what's cool about that is if you have to do any kind of like lettuce wraps or you gotta do any kind of steak uh, cubing your meat, you can do it really, really well with the uh, Santoku knife. So the Santoku is really a fan favorite. It's actually ranked number one in the ultimate bracket. So this thing has got a, a lot of uh, people rooting for it. So once again, with this one, you also could drag through just like that. And then you could kind of rock and chop and, and dice through. So that's the um, Santoku knife, ranked number one in the ultimate in the gourmet bracket. So make sure you're, uh, you're using that one and picking that one. So I know we had some low internet connection, so I'm gonna kind of refresh the, uh, the video here. So we're gonna be teaching you how to make my favorite steak tacos here. We're using skirt steak from Aldi's. I buy two or three of, the, two or three of these at a time. They're like six to 10 bucks. They freeze well. So I, uh, I froze uh, a few and getting ready for uh, you know, uh, Cinco de Mayo. And then this is what skirt steak looks like. It's beautiful meat for tacos. And uh, I let it sit overnight. What's up, Linky? Come on down. Um, get your chair up here and help dad. Um, and then um, I soaked it overnight with a, a light beer, like a, a Bud Light to kind of tenderize it. So you saw me here, if you jumped in late, we used the Santoku first. We're gonna teach you the best four knives for raw meat. Come on down. Link Linky is still in, in hibernation mm -hmm. Christmas attire here. Say what's up, everybody. So we'll go back to this one more time. So with this one, you can drag through just like that and do more of a kind of a pull through motion. And then you can also chop. So this is number one in the ultimate bracket and you can kind of cube your meat like that. So everybody loves this knife. It's a seven inch Santoku. And then we have the butcher knife. A lot of people go, what is that knife used for? Butcher knife is used for raw meat and frozen stuff. So it's gonna be very similar to the Santoku. You're just gonna drag through just like that. Very easy to use. You also have the ability to do like a push down method or like a slot, ma slot machine method if you're doing frozen stuff or really hard to cut stuff. So once again, the butcher knife is another great one. A lot of people overlook the butcher knife. The butcher knife is in the uh, homemaker bracket and it's a number 12 seed. It's, it's going against the pairing knife. So we'll see if that one uh, can pull off an upset with the 12 
Watch out, bud. These are knives. Do we ever touch knives with that? No. This? Never. Only Cutco Daddy could help you out. So that's a butcher knife. So you have many ways to cook this steak. So what I do is I kind of cube it up and I season it. And then I'm going to cook it on my skillet, the trusty Cutco skillet, one of my favorites. And then we're going to put it in the crock pot for about six hours. And it's going to be the most tender steak you'll ever eat. So I know we're losing some, uh, some uh, uh, internet that. connection here. But we'll kind of finish up the video. So we have the boning knife, another one of my favorites. So if you ever take the skin off, you basically can kind of poke it through like that. But on this, this skin will actually turn into flavor. But if you don't like a lot of fat from, uh, you know, like uh, chicken breast, sometimes have that, that, you want to check the temperature? All right, it's raw, so it'll probably say zero. Look at that. Yep, it's at zero. You never eat raw meat unless... Uh, you're uh, out in the wilderness. So this one is one of my go-tos because it's really easy, thin to win, very, very easy, very precise. Um, when when you're cutting raw meat, you just kind of cut away, uh, you know, from, from the grains. And I use this one almost daily because I'm eating a lot of steak, a lot of meat. So you have the raw meat knife. And then, all right, you're measuring the temperature. And then the final one, you have the salmon knife. Don't be confused by the name. Sometimes the name always tricks people because it's the, it's the edge of the knife that really matters. And this one, once again, is another best kept secret. Literally just a couple drag throughs and, uh, and you got really, really thin slices here. So once again, anytime you have raw meat, you typically don't want to use a serrated uh, edge or a DD edge because it's gonna catch. And we'll see if it actually um, shows here. We'll take out a trimmer knife. So the trimmer knife is the number one ranked knife in the, uh, the homemaker bracket. So everybody loves this one here. But what you'll notice, and I don't know if it'll be able to show well here, you have to kind of saw through it a couple times. It's still a great knife if all you have is this knife. It's one of the best uh, overall knives. But what you'll notice is you have to do more of a slicing motion. When you have something like a smooth edge, it's more of just a one pull through motion. So there you have it. You have really many, many knives to use when it comes to raw meat, but here's a recap of the favorites. The seven inch Santoku, the butcher knife, the boning knife. If you really have to, the trimmer, but a smooth edge will work best. After that, you cut it. And then a uh, uh, salmon knife. There's so once again, other. the best way to make skirt steak tacos is to let it sit overnight in some beer and get it tenderized. You get it all cubed and sliced up, then you kind of sear both sides, and then you let it sit in the crock pot for about four to six hours. So here's the brackets here. We'll do a fun little rundown here. So the uh, the overall rank number one seeds, because we have no sports to watch, so what better to watch uh, than sports is Cutco Mike. The number one seed in the Homemaker Signature Series is the Trimmer. So we'll see if this one, baby, takes it home. It's kind of like Kansas. Will it, will it win or will it get upset. It's always the number one seed, but will it, will it pan out to win it this year? And then we have the seven inch Santoku is no, another number one seed in the ultimate series. This one here is like Gonzaga. It always performs well in the regular season, but does it have what it takes to win it all? And then the super shears, the super shears will get the number one seed in the gadgets and accessories section. These are the most trusted things. And you know what's crazy about these? You can actually use these on raw meat too. So if you have bacon or you got little pieces of fat or gristle, these things are amazing. Love the super shear. And then, um, then we have the K-Bar. I don't have one of those right now to show you, but that's the number one in the, uh, the outdoor section. So we're gonna make it fun. We got a bracket of all the Cutco items. The Santoku will be taking on the 16 uh, Petite Slicer. We'll see if we got an upset in the making. The Super Shears will be taking on the Knife Sheets. So I don't think the, the Knife Sheets will win that one. The uh, K-Bar will be taking on the Golf Mate. And then the Trimmer will be taking on the Carving Fork. So just like in basketball, there's always a one versus 16. But we'll kind of highlight some of the, uh, the five versus 12s. So the five versus 12 in the ultimate section, we have the salmon knife versus the three inch parry knife. Wonder who will pull that upset off. The pizza cutter versus the grippy cheese knife. That one, oh man, Vegas has got, uh, it's got, the, it's got the favor of the grippy cheese knife. And then uh, in the outdoor section, the gut hook versus the bypass. 
And then in the homemaker, we have the, uh, the butcher knife versus the paring knife. So guys, make sure you fill out a bracket, have some fun. Most of us are at home, are extremely bored right now and, and a little bit of fearful, but make sure you have faith. Make sure you wash your hands. Make sure you love uh, your loved ones and you use your cut go. So they hope you all everyone. love everyone. God bless. Hope you had some fun. Sorry if it was cutting in and out. Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.